A French architect believes he's solved one of the most enduring mysteries of the ancient world. He says he can prove that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built from the inside out and that the construction of a huge external ramp is an archaeological myth. And after presenting his idea to Egyptologists at a conference in Paris, Jean-Pierre Houdin is being taken seriously. Rising 140 metres out of the desert on the outskirts of Cairo, the Great Pyramid of Giza has long been stripped of its beauty. The marble slabs transported from Aswan and Tura that encase the monument have been eroded or removed over time for buildings in the city. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, it's the only one still standing. But after 4,500 years, many of its secrets haven't been revealed. We do know it was built to house the tomb of Pharaoh Khufu, also known as Cheops. But no one knows for sure how the Great Pyramid was constructed. The popular theory is that vast teams of workers push blocks of stone weighing up to one and a half tons up a huge external ramp. But after years of research using computer-generated three-dimensional graphics, a French architect is trying to turn that theory on its head. We are promoting a, a new idea, an innovative idea, that the Khufu pyramid was built thanks to the, an internal ramp, a rising spirally inside the core of the pyramid, close to the face. This uh, ramp will not do all the job, but will uh, permit us to get to go up to the apex of the pyramid, so to build the full pyramid. He believes a giant counterweight was used to haul five 60-ton granite beams into position above the king's chamber. It's better than the other theories because this is the only one which works. And uh, with the system, uh, in two years we have made uh, full uh, uh, simulations, validations with their uh, software. And uh, we know now that with this theory, we can build the pyramid the same pyramid as in Khufu in, uh, in Giza, with the same materials, the same tools, the same techniques, and uh, in the same time. The architect has also challenged the theory that 100,000 workers were on site. He believes only 4,000 were needed. And to prove his theories, he's assembling a team of experts to probe the Great Pyramid using radar and heat detecting cameras. But while the architect has been applauded for bringing an ancient world to life in 3D, convincing Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities will be much tougher. Ross Cameron, World Radio.